What is up all you amazing people, my name is Nick, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get Assault Rifles Diamond in Infinite Warfare. First and foremost, there are about 5 Assault Rifles in Infinite Warfare. There's the MB4, the R3K, the K-Bar, the Type 2, and the Bulk. Now how I'm going to do this is I'm going to showcase Diamond on all these guns, and I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get the camo unlockations. So let's get right into this. <music> So I'm going to try to make this video as quick and possible for you guys so you can go straight into Infinite Warfare and get those Assault Rifles Diamond because Diamond is pretty neat in Infinite Warfare. The only thing I don't like is in some guns it covers, well, not some, on all the guns it covers like 90% of the gun and that's absolutely ridiculous. What's with like all these COD developers and making diamond all over the gun diamond on these guns really doesn't look that bad or diamond and in infinite warfare doesn't look that bad but i think the one gun out of all the assault rifles that it looks best on is the type 2 the type 2 looks very neat or the mv4 at least if you put suppressor on it because suppressor is not covered like it looks really nice and then the gun that looks the ugliest with diamond is the volk it covers the pink area i don't know what it's called but it's like you you can see it's like very pink and then the other or i guess like maroonish red orangey type whatever but it's it covers that and it looks weird it absolutely does look weird and that's probably the ugliest assault rifle with diamond but now it's time to tell you guys the easiest way to get the camos now first off the first challenge to do is get kills with the gun the max is 200 and this is when you start getting headshots the total max headshots to get to unlock all the headshot camos is 160 but when you're done with one of the headshot camos you instantly get one of the challenge camos they have long uh, long shot kills get kills while scoping off a site and then get kills with no attachments and then get double kills or two rapid kills and then it's kill three enemies without dying 20 times now those gun challenges are the easiest except for long range and I'm going to tell you guys the easiest to get long range after I tell you guys the easiest to get headshots. Now there is one game mode I specifically choose for you guys to play to get the challenges on the assault rifles done and that is hardcore. Well it's not really a game mode but it's a game type. Hardcore is literally the best. Getting headshots on hardcore is ridiculously easy because it just again it takes like one shot or two if you're like unlucky. But if you don't like hardcore, you can go play the normal game type, which is normal health and all that. But I'm telling you right now, it's a lot harder to get these challenges done. So take my advice and do hardcore. The only thing I have to tell you guys for headshots is just aim for the head. It's all spray and pray. But to make it easier, again, play hardcore. You can play any hardcore mode, team deathmatch, any of that. But I really do recommend team deathmatch or kill confirmed or domination. Um, like any of those is amazing but you can play any hardcore type as long as it's hardcore to make it easier to get these challenges done so let's say you weren't doing the challenges while you were doing the headshots so let's go if you already got 160 headshots for one of the assault rifles now you have to do is long shot kills you have to get about 25 long shot kills long shot kills is the hardest thing to get now this is the hardest camo to get it's autumn but this is the hardest challenge to complete too for assault rifles now i'm going to show you guys the spots for my recommendation for long shots or the easiest way to get long shots these spots that i find in these maps these are long shot areas that i know of and that really helped me to get long shots if you know any more comment down below now the first map is breakout now there's only one long shot spot that i know of on this map and it's in this little watchtower thing now where I spray is where the long shots actually happen and this works for the opposite side wherever I spray if you go over there you can spray back to that area and you'll still get a long shot but this is the only spot I know of a breakout. Now the next map is Crusher. Now I only know two spots to get long shots on this map if again there's any more long shot areas you know on these maps comment them down below please because again it could help people like super much. If you don't know the whole point of long shots is to stay as far away as possible from the enemy you're killing now as you can see i'm trying to stay on top of this vehicle type of thing and wherever i'm aiming or shooting or wherever i'm aiming and shooting at that is where you actually get your long shot medals at now again 
This goes the same way if you go to the other side and shoot anybody that's coming around that vehicle, you will instantly get long shots and that's one of the spots. The second spot is at the edge of the map. Now this spot, I really haven't gone to a lot because everybody usually goes through the middle, but this spot works as well. Again, where I'm shooting is where you get the long shot medals and please note to stay as far away as from the enemies as possible because there is a chance where you'll scoot up a little bit and you won't get the long shot medal because you were just a little bit too close. Next up is Scorch. Now there's two spots on this map and the first one is a long shot head glitching area. Now not a lot of people go through this area so I don't know if you want to try it out or just at all but my recommendation for getting long shots or while you're in these spots for getting long shots is stay in these spots all game. That is all you're supposed to do is just stay in your spot. Now the second spot is in this hallway. Now this is the best spot in Scorch because a lot of people like to go through this hallway. Now sometimes not a lot of people go through this hallway but sometimes they do but this is a really good spot on Scorch and I really do recommend sitting on this spot. Next map is Retaliation. Now there's only one long shot spot that I know of on this map and it's on top of the tank. Now there are two areas you can aim at. There's the edge of the tank that is closer to the cemetery that you can aim at the long street. Now the next spot or the next area on the tank is a little bit closer to the tank's railgun. Now if you aim for the little market area, people do spawn in that area that is a spawn point. You can kill people that are coming out of that area and it's just, you'll be surprised by how many people actually leave that area. So that is my favorite spot on retaliation for long shots. Next up is Frontier. Now this is my favorite map in IW and this is my favorite spot for long shots because a lot of people go through the middle. Now if you just hug the end, it, the same goes for the other side, if you just hug the end and you just spray anybody you see in hardcore, just one tap everybody you see in hardcore, you will automatically get a ton of long shot medals because this is the best spot. Now there's no long shot spots that I know of for grounded, but <laughs> that map is rarely picked on multiplayer so I wouldn't worry about it. And there are no long shot spots that I know of for persistent and frost either so if you do know any long shot spots comment them down below now the next map is throwback now this is my second favorite map in infinite warfare and there are two long shot spots the first spot is on top of this little food car now where i'm aiming is where you can actually get the long shot kills the next spot is on the edge of this map now this spot is better than the mini food car spot but just know that's not a lot of people really go through either way because they just move too fast and again playing hardcore will make it way easier but this spot is pretty good now next map is terminal this is my third favorite map but there is two spots on this map there is one where you can look through the hallway and just annihilate people that are walking through the hallway and also if you scoot over to the left a little bit you can look to where the burger town was and people who are crossing there to go to that area or the area you're at you can get long shot medals while killing. Now the next spot is looking through the airplane terminal. I don't really recommend this spot. I recommend the other spots, but people do pass through this, but again, rarely, but this is another good spot and it does go both ways. Now the next map is Skydock. Now this spot is on the edge of the map and this is the only spot on Skydock that I know of, but this spot is pretty good because a lot of people like to peek through here when the game first starts. Now the next map is Mayday. Now this map is not really good for long shot but it's basically you hug the edge of the map and you just aim for people that's head glitch and that's pretty much it now pretty sadly genesis has no long shot areas that i know of i've tried everything and genesis does not have any long shot areas that i know of that is the fastest way to get long shots next up you have is wideouts now wideout you got to get 50 kills while aiming down sights that's not hard. I really don't need to tell you guys a secret how to do that. And now the next up is Bengal. Looks like Tiger from Black Ops 1. But you got to get 50 kills with no attachments. I don't have to tell you guys the easiest way to get that too. And then next up is Murder Outs. You got to get two rapid kills or basically double kills 20 times. And that's really not that hard either. And then last but not least is Neon Tiger. Now you need to get three kills without dying 20 times. Now if it's hard for you to get three kills... I recommend camping for this camo I really do recommend camping and just camping to your heart's content only for this camo I don't recommend camping in general just to get this camo but that's pretty much it guys that is how to get diamonds on assault rifles faster or 
pretty much my method of how to get diamonds on a star rifles faster i'll see you guys later if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and if you did like this video or it did help you drop a like because it does help me out a ton and i'll see you in the next so stay amazing and peace guys